Hey guys, welcome back. Today was a very eventful day. It was uh, kind of crazy. Um, very, very busy. I know a lot of you guys are very busy out there and it's not gonna ease up, not at all. But uh, I just wanted to talk about a couple things that I've seen today. Um, some things that will really make you think about some things. One of them was a job posting. There's a job posting here in Houston and it was under the banner of one of the major medical centers around, so it's pretty major. But it was for a Biomed 3 slash site lead, and the advertised salary was $60,000 a year. Now, I normally wouldn't have a problem with that. Uh, Biomed 3, 60K a year, it's an excellent opportunity for Biomed 2 that wants to step into some new responsibility. That's, that's fine. But you're talking a Biomed 3 slash site lead. If you're a site lead, you're either managing people, you're running metrics, you're managing contracts, probably parts inventory, depending on how the hospital does it. You're handling POs. So if you're a site lead, you're gonna be in charge of some stuff for 60K a year. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. I'm very humble about how much money I make and the opportunities that have been given to me. But there's some types of things I think are just, there's people that are being set up for failure, like a Biomed 2 that steps into this position or a, a junior level Biomed 3 that's never run anything before. I think they're setting themselves up for, for failure on this one because there, there's a lot of stuff to do when you run a facility, especially when you're getting inspected. So uh, that's the first thing that I ran into today. The other thing I was thinking about is there are two major styles of management that I've seen throughout my career. One side is the guy that will pound you daily about the numbers. Like, guys, the numbers just aren't where they need to be. The end. That's it. And then there's a second management style. That's the guy that's going to go into the morning huddle and they're going to say, Guys, our numbers aren't where they need to be. I'm gonna be coming around and doing rounding with you guys, okay? Let me know if there's anything you need to make this happen. There's such a huge difference, I can't even express it to you guys over the two styles of management. One style, just, it's your daily beating. I'm, uh, that's just how it is, and that's how everybody feels about it, is your daily self-esteem beat down. It doesn't matter what you did or how well you did it because the numbers aren't where they need to be. I don't care about you. I just I just want those numbers. Give me those numbers. And the second side is the guy that's actually going to go to your shop, look you in the eye and say, hey, what's going on, guys? Do you guys need more staffing? Do you need overtime? What's, what's going on with your numbers? What... What can we do? Do you need some help from teammates? What can we do? Let's fix this. So there's two types of management. There's one that just says, you're, you're messing up, man. And then there's the other, the other side of the story where he says, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna fix this. We're in this together. Because if you fail, they fail. And if they fail, you're failing. And I wanted uh, some of my fellow biomeds to know that out there too, because I think sometimes biomeds just want to just beat on managers like that this guy's a horrible manager, yada, yada, yada. But you don't understand that we don't want them to fail. We want them to succeed because if they succeed, we succeed, our job gets easier and the whole hospital gets better. Your reputation gets better. You know, people rely on you more. Um, I just, I just don't understand people all the time. Some people just try and knock down management and really sometimes they're just doing the best that they can. And sometimes we have to step in and give that extra mile. But at the same time, sometimes managers have to step in and do that extra mile. You can't just manage over Zoom or over a telephone and just give you your daily beat down about your numbers. That's, that's not a real good way to do business, guys. But uh, just something to think about. If if you become a Biomed 3 or a Biomed Supervisor, what type of manager are you going to be? We're all in this together, and we all win or fail together.
Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all have a very good day.